Holy sh... What was that, dude? No way I just did that shit to him. more of a spiritual guy I know a lot about religion but I'm more of a spiritual guy like it's hard for me to flat out tell you which religion that you know I support the most or whatever like I know about a lot of them but it comes down to um... <sighs> look I believe in the soul man and I, and I believe that you gotta pay attention to your actions. Some things follow you forever, man. You know, I believe in karma and stuff. So, I care more about how it's gonna affect me in the long term, right? I don't wanna be remembered for, um, having a sell out, you know, having to push garbage to get a higher position and having to do corrupt stuff to get by and even if it's portrayed like it's the popular thing or whatever I, I don't want to do that um, I, I personally believe that you gotta do things the hard way man you just gotta earn things and I do think that yeah I mean if you do shitty things it'll come back to you uh, and people try to act like they can say there's no God and this and that. They can say, uh, you know, oh, well, that's a fairy tale. But, like, you can't deny that bad things happen, though. You can't deny there's energy, right? There's kind of a something going on there, like a law of attraction kind of thing. See, so if you see that, and you, you start to understand it at that level first, you start to understand that, like, there's an outside influence, an outside force, you know, something that's there that, Fuck, man. Yeah, it's looking close now. Alright. You know, the thing is, we don't really know where we go after we die, for sure. But you don't want to take a... You don't want to take that chance and be reckless about your life and just... Just do whatever you want, even going against your your intuition, right? Because if you could just go against your intuition and do shitty things because you're selfish, but you don't necessarily know how it's going to follow you. So, I mean, if you're reckless, who knows? I, I think that, personally, this isn't, this isn't everything. I kind of think we're living in, I don't want to say a simulation, but along the lines it kind of feels like we're being tested you know at a grand scheme level we're all just here and we're just being tested and there are people who are really desperate for power wealth fame whatever you name it and there are people that are willing to do all these shortcuts to get by and see it rubs off on society though you start by doing that you're kind of like telling other people to do it the same way you know that's why like you don't you don't want to actually be a negative influence cuz you're getting the bad karma for it I'm mostly a spiritual person um it's hard to explain it Yeah.
Yeah, I mean, sure, but I can't narrow it down to just one thing. It's more complicated than that. It's a lot more complicated than that. You know? You want to ask me if I believe in demons and stuff? I'll tell you I do. I'll tell you that they are real. And it's not just one religion that's saying they're real. You know? So... People will act like they're fake. People will act like, oh, there's no such thing. Well, maybe it's because you're stuck at a materialistic level. You know, because these spirits have been, t you know, talked about for centuries. It's not like it's something new. I mean, it's not like one guy was just tripping on acid and, and you know, encountered some demons. It's like these things go further back than that, dude. I think people are in denial and they want to just keep doing bad stuff because, you know, you can, yeah, you can. That's the thing. You have the free will to do bad shit. It's easier to just shrug it off and be like, oh, whatever, you know, nothing's going to stop me. But again, like, life has a way of attracting bad situations. So you will be humbled by force regardless. I think you should at least respect the law of attraction, even if you're not very religious. to come back from that situation.